Hello there, and welcome into my sports talk show. I'm your host, Carl Ishin Jr. Joined by a special guest today on my sports talk show, Dave, former MLB pitcher Dave Veers. How are you today, Dave? I'm doing great, Carl. How are you doing? Doing good. Let's talk about your first MLB team you ever played for, the Houston Astros. Yes, sir. How was that like playing for the Houston Astros? Actually, it was great, especially after spending seven years in the minor leagues and finally getting that call to the big leagues. Uh, you know, I never thought it was going to happen, so it was kind of nice when it finally did. And the ironic thing is I made my debut against the Los Angeles Dodgers, and uh, who was the team that released me uh, two years before. Yep. So it was nice, nice getting that little revenge against the Dodgers. Los Angeles Dodgers, boy, they, they won the World Series this year. Yeah, they had a pretty good team, that's for sure. Yep. And their fans are still mad with the commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them. Yeah. Um, and what other teams did you play for? I saw you played for Montreal. Yes, I went from the Astros to the Expos. Expos. The Expos, Expos to the Rockies. Yep. Did you ever Rockies play with... The, what's that? Did you ever play with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Senior? Yeah. Yes, sir, in Montreal. So, Montreal. Uh, so, so a little, little piece of trivia for you. Yep. Can you hear me okay? Because I'm driving. I'm I can not driving. hear you. I'm not driving, but my chauffeur is. Yeah. <laughs> which is my wife. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, so a little piece of trivia. Yeah. One player. One player. Because the Toronto Blue Jays have Vladdy Jr. Yep. Kevin Kevin Biggio. Yep. Dante or Bo Bichette. Yep. Okay. One player in MLB history played with mm -hmm. all of their dads. Do, do you know who that is? That would be you. Yes, sir. So uh, it's kind of odd that I'm the only one in Major League history that played with all their dads, with all the teams they played for and as long as they played. Yep. Uh, so it's kind of cool to be the only person to do that. What was your favorite team you played for? Probably St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah, Houston was fun too just because I was, you know, my rookie year and, you know, finally getting to the big leagues. But St. Louis in 2001 and two, you know, because we were pretty good, went to the playoffs every year. Mm -hmm. And got to play with, you know, Mark McGuire and Jim Edmonds and Albert mm -hmm. Pujols and Daryl Kyle. So, I played with some, you know, some great players there, too. Yep. So, a great city, great team. So, mm -hmm. definitely St. Louis is probably my favorite place. Did you ever play with Larry Walker, who was the Hall of Famer this year? Yes, sir. With, with the Rockies. I played with Larry when I was with Colorado. Yep. So, uh, and, and, yeah, he's another great player. Yeah. yeah he's, a, he's a great player. And then there's Derek Jeter. But I don't think – did you ever play Derek Jeter against them? Yep, you know, I was always in the National League. So, and then when we did the Yankees, uh, for interleague play, yeah. we played We played them in, I want to say, 19 – I remember it was Don Mattingly Day. So, it was yeah. like 1997 or so. Yep. Uh, when I was with the Expos, we went to New York. And I'm not sure yep. if Jeter was even there yet in 97. I don't remember what his rookie Jeter, year was. Jeter made his debut because I'm a New York guy in 1996. Nice. Was Joe Corey. Okay, so he was there. Yeah. Yep. But uh, I, I didn't pitch that series. I had actually was – I think I did something to my knee. That I was on a DL, I think, once with Montreal. So I think I hurt my knee or something. So I didn't pitch that series. And now another trivia question for you to answer. Tony La Russa. He yes, was sir. your manager, and now he's coming back out of retirement. I saw that. So uh, I, I think it's a great move. Obviously, I think Tony's one of the best managers ever. So yep. – uh, and and it's you know you'll get that I think you'll get that good blend of yeah. old school baseball yeah. with using some sort of analytics which you know you always have I mean we always yep. had advanced scouts we've always, we always had some sort of analytics back in the day yep. yeah I mean, obviously not quite as extent as it is now but you always had you know hitting charts and spray charts and pitching charts and you know a little more you know a little more man made type stuff but, yep. but I think Tony would be a good mix of you know and and I I think. Uh, you know, you go back to the World Series, a lot of people question that move yeah. that, you know, Kevin Cash made pulling, you know, pulling Snell there, even though the, 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 the data says you should have. Yeah. You know, the, the eyeball test showed that yeah. he was dealing and should have stayed in the game. I agree with you. I think he should have stayed in the game yeah. because the Rays, I'm not, a, I, I can't be biased on my show, but <laughs> I'm not a Rays fan. I'm a, I'm a New Yorker. Yankees. Yeah, I don't blame you, but I'm, I'm sure – I, you, you're probably pulling for the Rays just because they're in the New York's division. Since New York couldn't make it, you had to pull for somebody. I was pulling. I was pulling for the Dodgers because I oh, like the really? Yeah. Uh oh. 
And nice. what do you think about Manny Ramirez coming back and playing for the Australian Baseball League? Is he really? How's he doing? Yeah, I, I, I heard about that. He just signed a contract. Oh, no way. I didn't know. I didn't realize that. Manny being Manny. <laughs> he could hit. I tell you what, he could hit. Yeah. He, he was a good player until what happened in Boston. And yeah, then he that's started. Unfortunate. Yeah. But Joe Torrey liked him. Yeah, he did. I mean, he's, he's a great player. Yeah, you can't yeah. help but like him as a teammate. You can't help but like him because, you know, as I said, he put up great numbers. He was really, really good, obviously. Now, did you ever play trying, against Alex yeah, Rodriguez? What's that? You ever play against Alex Rodriguez? I did, actually. Uh, actually, I played with him when he first got drafted. Yeah. Uh, we both went to, We both went to winter ball in Dominican. So, so we were teammates in Dominican when he was, like, 19 years old. And uh, I've met him before. And then I faced him once when he was in St. Louis. Yeah. So I came up bases loaded. Go that way. Uh, we came up bases loaded with two outs, and luckily yeah. he hit a fister to third. I got him out. But yep. That, that's that's before he was a power hitter. You know, he turned out to be. Yep. And he was a great player until all of a sudden somebody ran in the mouth saying he took steroids, which was Jose Canseco. Yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, all that stuff was going on. But, yeah. you know, it's, you know, I, I said you can't deny it's part of the game. And, no. yeah. you, know, you know, things happen. Every every era had something going on. Now, did you, did, what do you think about the Korean Baseball Organization League, which has been going on this year before baseball MLB started? It was on ESPN. Yeah, I guess, I guess if you have, you know, have to watch baseball that bad. I, I was actually enjoying uh, watching the MLB Network all the old replays. Yep. So, so I actually got to watch my first major league hit was on because uh, they're doing a game where Jeff Bagwell had a three home run game. Yeah. And I happened to pitch like three in the third innings that day and got my first at bat, got my first major league hit. So uh, I enjoyed watching some of the replays on MLB Network too. Just, uh, you know, saw some old games. I mean, it's, unfortunately, I saw some bad games too. Yeah. Because uh, they, they showed the Cubs in 03 where we. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got the, those when losses. the Marlins came back and won. Yeah, so that was that, that brought back some bad memories. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and Dusty Baker, people he's awesome. Com- he's a good coach, but people are complaining all over again, saying Why? Dusty Baker choked because he choked in Game Game Seven. Fans were saying yeah. because the Astros lost. I know. So uh, you know, you you can't make everybody happy, and and no. and the manager can only, the manager can only do so much. Yeah, but you I know, but I, I like Dusty. Yeah, I, I do too. He's a great he's a, guy. Great manager too. Yep. So, what do you have to think about this the sixty game season they had this year? I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> you know, uh, it was interesting at first. I, at first, I wasn't sure I was going to like you know the playoff form the format. Yeah. But I tell you what, it was pretty nice having you know three or four baseball games every day. Yeah. So, so if you're a baseball fan, it made the, the playoffs made it fun to watch, and you know more teams got involved. Yeah. So, uh, so it's, it's a pretty good format, actually. Uh, you know, 60 games is better than none. So, yep. You know, you can't. I, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I agree with you. That that was better to better to have baseball than nothing. Yeah, no doubt. I agree. And um, what do you think about Dave Roberts? Every every do- I, I've heard a lot of on social media about Dodgers fans saying he should have got fired. He's gonna lose to the Braves, and he went all the way <laughs> and won it. And then Dodgers fans are apologizing. <laughs> yeah, it, it, every, every fan are front runners, you know. Yeah. You know, if, if you lose, they hate you. If you win, they love you. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, like I said, you can't make everybody happy. So. No. Nope. Um, yeah, at least this year, some of the moves didn't come back to haunt him. You know, I think nope. he learned his lesson after. A couple of those, uh, you know, kind of like what Kevin Cash did. You know, you yep. pull the guy a little bit early, and that, that's what data says, and it comes back to bite you. But I think he kind of learned his lesson about that. But, you know, the Dodgers, I mean, they're, you know, they yeah. had a great, great team, obviously, the best record in baseball, and, you know, they obviously deserved it. You know, was, but uh, – Without David Price. David Price opted out of the season. Yeah, I wonder that. I was wondering if he, if he gets a ring now. I, I wonder that, too. Somebody you said know? to me he probably won't get a ring. I mean, if you ask me, I you know, I, I, I probably wouldn't take it. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's hard to say if, if I would take it or not. I would like to think he doesn't really deserve it because he's, yeah. you know, left left the team. But yeah. but then again, he's, you know, he was part of the team. So it's hard to say. Yeah. It's but that's – David Price is another one like Manny being Manny, Price being Price. <laughs> There's no doubt. Yeah, he's – and when, he, when he's on the field, he's outstanding. Yeah. But you know, also but he, had that, he had that controversy with – 
the Nestle Analyst, then the Sectors League. Oh, that's right. Yeah, back. yeah. 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 He's, he's a great pitcher. Yeah, he, oh, there's no doubt he is. You know, and then and you have that, Dennis, that's the thing. Yeah. What's that? Go ahead. You have Dennis Eckersley, who the last time the Dodgers won the World Series, gave it up to Kurt Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that moment. I, I, was, I was actually drafted by the A's, so I was watching that game. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, you know, I, was, I was in the instructional league watching that game, and yeah, yeah that was tough. Yeah. Jeez. Then you had, then you had Dave Roberts, who stole the base against my New York Yankees in 2004. That's right. And, and turned it he around, didn't it? One. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to see him win a World Series. Uh, did I lose you? I, I lost you, you a little bit. I'm back now. Yep, it's kind of nice to see. It's all right. It's kind of nice to see David Roberts win a World Series as a coach now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and he's yeah. a great player. Obviously, he's a great manager. So it's it's nice to see. You know, like it depends, I guess, who you're pulling for. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a Braves <laughs> fan or a Cardinals yeah. fan or yeah. you know, or a Tampa fan, you you're, yeah. you're unhappy for him. But obviously, yeah. they deserved it. Yeah. And who was your favorite teammate on the St. Louis Cardinals? Uh, well, Daryl Kyle was probably my best friend. Ball, you know, because I've known Daryl since you know the mid '80s. Yep. You know, I met Daryl. I met Daryl when we were in Double A, and um, and then we were teammates with yep. Tucson. Got traded to the Rockies, or I got traded to the Rockies when he was here. We got traded together to St. Louis. So, so probably Daryl, Kyle, I've been together for so much. Yep. And I always remember Daryl Kyle. He's, uh, so he's probably my best friend in baseball, and so obviously playing with him was great for yep. those three teams, but. You know, um, me, me and Mike Matheny were close. You know, obviously, obviously the, the bullpen guys kind of stick together. But uh, I just have to say Daryl, probably just in baseball in general and, you know, on that team for sure. Now, now, did you know, did you remember, um, um, oh, um, Chris Duncan and, um, Shelly Duncan's, his dad was saying, yep. was the coach for, pitching coach it's, for a while. Yeah, sir, he was my pitching coach in St. Louis. Yeah, Dave yeah. Duncan was outstanding. And he was with the athletics was Tony. But yep. his son passed away a couple of years ago. I have to say yeah, last I saw year. That. Yeah, the older son. That. Like a brain brain yeah. aneurysm or tumor or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cancer. cancer. Yeah. Which was too bad, but That's Shelley too bad. Duncan, He's young too. Shelley Duncan was pretty interesting when he played for the Yankees. <laughs> was he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that Great very well. Player. Chris was Chris was just coming up when, when I was yeah. when I was in St. Louis, Chris was just coming up, so I didn't really know him that well. No. And what do you think? How do you felt? Of, how did you like Tony La Russa as your manager? I thought he was great. He was great. You know, yeah, definitely to me. I mean, probably the best manager I've ever had. Uh, definitely. How do you put it? All business. You know, yeah. he wasn't. You know, maybe the easiest guy to talk to, but yeah, when it came when it came to game time, he's one of the best managers yeah. on the field for sure. Kind of, kind of like, kind of. We'll, we'll put it this way: kind of like Bill Belichick in football. <laughs> Probably, yeah, exactly. It's all business. Well, it's funny. So, so, like, you know, you'd see Tony, and when you first get to the field, you say, "Hey, Tony, how you doing?" He's like, "I'll tell you when the game's over." You know, <laughs> would, would be his comment because if we win, he's great. If, he's, if we don't yeah. win, he's not so good. And he and he lost that World Series to the Red Sox, and then in, yeah. in, in 06 in their brand new stadium, he yep. won the World Series in 06 in 2011. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely, like I said, definitely one of the best managers there ever was. So I, I'm, 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 ex I'm happy for him. I think it's a good yeah. move, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's, it's a great move. But now you have these people that are in the Hall of Fame saying they need to take his plaque away because he came out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, I guess, well, what do you do if he loses more games now? His record's yeah. not as good. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe yeah. Morgan, Joe Morgan just passed away not that long ago. Geez, there's like five lately. Five yeah. Hall of Famers in the last couple months. Yeah, it's and, terrible. And he and he was and he was the Hall of Fame. He was on the board. I think he was the oh, head was Hall really? of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. You never made the Hall of Fame? No, not unfortunately. Never. I, I made one Hall of Fame, and that was it. I made the, yeah. the, the, the the Northwest Athletic Association for Community Colleges. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever, yeah, have you heard? Of, have you heard of that program? <laughs> I've never heard of that program. Yeah. Well, I I went to Mount Hood Community College in Gresham, Oregon. So, uh, oh, so that's way uh, out by California. Yep, actually, way yeah. north. Yeah, north, what, Oregon, Washington. Yeah, Oregon, so, Washington. Uh, 
it actually it's funny i'm not even, i'm not in my high school hall of fame yeah you, you 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 think i'd make my high school hall of fame yeah, by yeah. now <laughs> would you think yeah i guess i'm not good enough to play make that one either yeah so and talk about a tri- talk about a trivia question in my town in 1946 i'm not sure if you've seen the show yet i did the yankees and red sox played at soldiers field when joe really? dimaggio was there yeah and ted williams they played in douglas they played a exhibition no game I, i i did an interview about that no, were you there for the game Uh, uh, no, it was 1946. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just joking. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, that'd be awesome. I, I, I know an, I know an older man that I don't. Know, he must be in his 80s or late 90s. He said he was there as a little boy. No way. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. So, the, um, have you ever played against some um, Kurt Schilling or Randy Johnson or Roger Clemens? Yes, sir. I actually had to bat against Kurt Schilling once. How did you feel about Kurt Schilling? You like him? He could pitch. Yeah. He, he was nasty on the mound. He, he struck me out, so he must be yeah. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. A, a, a lot of people liked him when he helped the Red Sox win the World Series. Oh, yeah. When you win, everybody likes you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny how that works. Yeah. No, but he could, he's definitely a gamer. He, he was a big, big-time pitcher when it came to those big games. He was, you know, even in Arizona with him and Randy Johnson, those two, yeah. those two guys were tough to beat. Yeah. And and they beat my they beat the New York Yankees in Game Seven. They, 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 they beat they, they beat us Cardinals too, and to go to the champ the World Series. Oh yeah, yeah, that year. Yeah. Or oh, you would have been facing the New York Yankees. I know, dang it! And then, and then in 2000, the Mets beat us. Yeah. In the yeah. championship to play the Yankees too, so yeah. I lost like I lost four times in a row to go to the World Series. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's always one, two, and three. Yeah. Now, what do you think about Aaron Judge? How do you like him? Yeah, you know, I mean, as a player, he looks like he's fantastic. Yeah. You know, I wish you could. I wish you could stay healthy. You know, yeah, those yeah. guys, him and Stan, if they could stay healthy. It'd be crazy the numbers they could put up. Yeah. But he seems like a great guy, great ambassador for baseball. Yeah. Yeah. You know, obviously, a great, uh, when he's on the field, he's a great player. Yeah, great you guy. Know? Yeah, But it off seems the, like off, it. off the field, his girlfriend's having problems. She got arrested <laughs> for drunk driving. I saw yeah. that. Trying to yeah. trying to name drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know Aaron Judge. Yeah. He's he's a great guy. I've met him before. Nice. He seems like a good guy. Yeah. He and and what, everybody compares him to Derek Jeter and Mar um Derek Jeter. And he says there's only one Derek Jeter. Yeah, for sure. There's no doubt. And and he's so young. I mean, give him give him yeah. 10, 15 more years, then you can start comparing him. Yeah. You know. It's, but but I do think he's a great ambassador for the game. He's because yeah. he's like I said on, on the field, off the field. He's he's a great guy, good player. You know, and and obviously being in New York helps yeah. to be you know that big city. Yep, and what do you have to think about um, Davy Garcia, that that move the Yankees made, to confuse the Rays, and then Jay Happ ended up blowing the game. Oh, serious? I, I don't remember that. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad by Brian Cashman and Aaron Boone. Oh wow, I, I don't remember that play. You don't remember that? No, I don't. It was they 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 had him as the starting pitcher, then they moved removed him after the first inning, and then they put Happ oh. in there. Oh, he blew, uh, they, they blew the game. Holy cow. But that's the problem with that new starter, with that, what's they call it, the opener. Yeah. The opener role now. There's no, there's, there's no more starters. Now it's openers. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's they, crazy. They, they, they did that to confuse the Rays, but that yeah. didn't confuse the Rays. <laughs> no. Yeah, not anymore. Everybody has so much data on guys. It doesn't matter who you throw out there. They've seen them a hundred times. And then Kevin Cashman won a World Series with the Red Sox and won a World oh. Series with the Yankees. Oh, did he really? Yeah, won the World Series in 07, and then in, new, in 2009, so many oh, wow, catches that. were injured. There was injuries, so he came up. He was part of the team, but he didn't go into the playoffs, but he still got oh. a ring. No way. Yeah. So That's Kevin cool. Cash, I, 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 think, yeah. I think he figures out the Yankees' numbers. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. They do. They, they did all year. You know, yeah. They had a great record against them this year. And then a role Chapman. Yeah, I don't think he ever suspo- served that suspension, but that was that was a he was really angry at with the Rays throwing at the Yanks' heads. That was crazy, wasn't it? How about that yeah. for karma? Yeah, and yeah. then then you had, then he had Joe Kelly throwing at the um, Astros' heads. <laughs> I know. I tell you, it's, I, I'm surprised that you know I'm kind of surprised that didn't happen more, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know, but team the, trying to retaliate, but I think they're worried about getting suspended and stuff. Yeah, because the commissioner, the commissioner said he'd suspend the guys more 
if they did that, then it, but what I don't understand, and my and I'm friends with Dave Sims, the Seattle Mariners broadcaster. He said he thought that would happen, but I don't understand why he granted them immunity and he didn't That's suspend great. the players. Yeah, it's pretty sad when 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 the guys that do kind of retaliate get yeah. stiffer suspensions and the guys that did the, did the crime. I know it's pretty yeah yeah yeah. It's pretty and disappointing, then, that's for sure. And then then Jeff Luna, who was the general manager, nobody picked him up yet, but he still said. I had nothing to do with that. I don't know why I got I suspended. Know. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Well, unfortunately, yeah, what the players did cost him and uh, A.J. Hinch their jobs. But a A.J. Hinch just got the job with the Detroit Tigers. That's right. I saw that. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's good. You know, like I said, you know, but a lot of people, manager can do. A lot of people are getting mad now. They're saying, they hired that guy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. So, um. Can you hear me okay? Still? Yeah. Did you make okay, any good. awesome? Did you hear me good? Yep, I can hear you just fine, but right. I'm, in, I'm in our Jeep, so it's a little noisy. All right. So, um, did you um make any All Star games? No, I did not. Unfortunately, my my best years I had probably yeah. were uh, before it was cool to take setup men to the All Star game. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my my I had, I had a, my 1995 season after the strike. Yep. So we came back. We came back after the strike. We played played 140 games, I think. Yep. And uh, that year, I threw over 100 innings and over 70 games out of 140. So, 70, 70 games. Yeah. That's quite a. That's quite a bit now. A, yeah. It, it, well, that, nowadays that game, you, you'd be lucky to throw 70 games. Well, well, if you do if you compare the numbers, that's like going 80, 81 games and throwing like yeah. 120 innings. Yep. So as a reliever, to throw over 100 innings out of as a reliever was pretty good. And so that was probably the best year overall statistically I had. You know, mm -hmm. obviously I was I wasn't a, I wasn't a closer yet, so I didn't have any saves. But uh, probably my best year, you know, for stats wise was yeah. probably 95 because I had a lot of games, a lot of innings. You know, with yeah. like a 2.2 .2 ERA. You were playing you know, for Montreal then, right? I was was in Houston then. Houston, all right. Yeah, Houston 95. So now, that's um, the best year I had. When you played up in Montreal and you played with a few of the um guys that their sons are playing now, did you ever see their sons at the games when they were little? Uh, like you Brad know, Jr.? Were, well, well, Bo Bichette I did, but yeah. Vladdy, Vladdy wasn't married yet. Well, Vladdy and, wasn't and, married. Well, I guess we, we, we knew Vizios too because Kevin was born when I was yeah. in Houston. So so Kevin and Bichette we knew. Yeah. Uh, Vladdy, was, Vladdy was just a rookie. Yeah. First, and second, first and second year player there, so – he wasn't married with any kids yet, so I didn't know them. But, you know, Pedro was there. Moise Salou was there. Uh, you know, we had some pretty good teams in Montreal. We just, you know. Pedro Martinez. Yeah, Pedro, he could pitch. Yep. And then Ramon Martinez, right? Was he there? Yep. That was his brother. He wasn't there. He was in L.A. still. but L.A. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because they played for the Red Sox together. Yeah. So, and they played yeah, for the Los Angeles together. How about that move when the Dodgers opted to trade Pedro instead of Ramon? They, probably, they kept the wrong guy. Yeah, they kept the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the wrong Martinez. Yeah. You know. But but Pedro won the World Series, but he'll be always famous in in New York Yankees' eyes after what he did to Don Zimmer. <laughs> yeah, for for, for for tossing Don Zimmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember, I think was it was crazy. Mayor Bloomberg. He said if it happened in New York, he'd have him arrested. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but Pedro was a Pedro was a good player. No, he was awesome. He, he's, good, he's a good guy too. Yeah, he played for. Yeah. The, he he should have stayed with the Red Sox. He would have got two World Series rings. But then yeah, he decided yeah. to go to the Mets. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he regrets that move. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was because, definitely a great, great pitcher, man. Yeah, he was a great pitcher, but he was part of that team with the curse of the Bambino. <laughs> yeah, I was on the curse of the <laughs> curse of the goat with the Cubs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was glad, I was glad to see the Cubs won in sixteen. Yeah, I was kind of bittersweet. Yeah. You know, I was actually pulling for uh, who they playing that in Cleveland, I think. I Cleveland. Think for Cleveland that year. Yeah. You know, but yeah, it's been nice to see him win. Yeah, I was pulling for the, I was pulling for the Cubs because I, yeah. I, I thought it'd be nice to because the White Sox won in 05. So it'd That's be right. nice to see the Cubs at least win one. Yeah. Yeah, that, but that, have they won one since then? Is that the only one they got? That's the only one they got, that's 16. The but yeah, they had, I can remember. But, 
But they could have won one this year, but the Marlins came out of nowhere and took beat the crap out of them. I tell you what, man, the Marlins were playing pretty good early on. Yep. You know, it's just kind of fun to watch those guys. I was pulling for, actually, I was pulling for a Marlins Tampa World Series. Yeah. Two, with the, two of the three lowest payrolls in baseball. I was, I was pulling for a Dodgers Yankees World Series. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so it's kind um, of nice. So, so, so I, I play with so many teams. Yeah. You know, every year, every year, because I, 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 I play with the Dodgers minor leagues. Yep. I play with the A's in the minor leagues. Mm-hmm. I play with the Astros. I play with the, the Cardinals. I play with the Cubs. So every, almost every team I play for made the playoffs. So I, I'm, I'm always guaranteed to have one team in the World Series yeah. that, I, that I can pull for. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what did you think about that fan stealing the ball from uh, um, Mosey Alou? Is it Mosey or was it Philip Alou? Yeah, Moises. Yeah, Moises. Moses. Yeah, yeah, I was – I mean, that was a tough play because it yeah. could have been an out. Yeah. But, but but that play didn't cost us the game. Yeah. You know, I, actually, the next play or two, we, we had a double play ground ball. Yeah. To be out of the inning didn't happen. And, yeah, so it kind of snowballed after that. But that one play didn't cost us the the, the, the game. I mean, it looks like it did. Every, yeah. Every play off like it did. But a lot, after, a lot after, of the, a lot of the Cubs fans said that guy should have got ejected and they should have said that was enough. Yeah, they tried. They tried to see him run him out of town. That's yeah, yeah. Bad for him. He, he, he was, he was, he was, he was not everybody's hero. <laughs> no, he it's wasn't. Like, it's like that home run, wasn't it? Cheated to hit that home run, and that kid caught it, and the Orioles yeah, were get, so get, mad. Yeah, gets both for it. Gets both. Yeah, ninety six. Yeah, gets both for it. Yeah, yeah and, that one, that one, that one was real obvious. It was, it yeah. would have been an out because that was like five feet in front of the wall. Yeah, but the, but the umpires did nothing. I know. <laughs> oh, the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, it's the Yankees. So you have to. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the umpires against the Yankees, but that time they were against the Orioles. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of tough now with all the instant replays and everything. Yeah. And nowadays, all that stuff doesn't happen. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier now. Yeah. And that was better because then you don't have coaches out there getting ejected. Yeah, but I I, I still enjoy you know. Yeah. Like guys stealing second base, and their foot yeah. comes off the base by half an inch, and yep. you know, they, they, you know, I think yeah. some of that, some of that video stuff is kind of petty, but it's, yeah. you know, it is what it is. But, but I, you know, I miss some of the old school yeah. human element part of it. Yep. And 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 you, but even though they have the instant replay, there's still coaches out there arguing, <laughs> like in 2019 when Aaron Boone said to the umpire, "We're savages. My team's a savage." <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Did you Jeez. ever play with it? Did you play with Aaron Brune's brother? I no, I played against him. I never played with him. Oh. I, I, I played against I played against both Boons. Yeah, both Boons. And then there's yeah, the father. There's the father that used to play years ago, and then the grandfather. Yep. The father yeah, that, 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 works for the Astros, not that, the Astros. Impressive, I'm, isn't it? He's the Washington. He's works for the Washington Nationals. Oh, does he really? Yeah, not the not the Astros, but he's yeah, not Bob the Boone, owner. The dad. Yeah. It's the dad. That's pretty impressive. The four generations or three generations, yeah. you know. And then hopefully the Boons have a son that might make it. You know, yeah. you know Brett, Brett or Aaron might have a son that gets makes it four generations. Kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, he has a couple of kids that he had with his wife, and he adopted two kids, I believe, from Haiti. Oh, did he really? Yeah, because he talked about that during the Black Lives Matter thing. He oh, talked nice. about how he felt about the police, and he said, "Well, I adopted two kids from Haiti," and he sat there and cried and said, "I'd feel bad if they get shot at." Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Aaron Boone's a class act. Yeah, he is. He's a he's a good guy. I hope he wins the World Series because the because I, I don't know I don't know how long the Yankees will want him. <laughs> so yeah, well they need one they need one or two more pitchers. Yeah. Yeah, one or yeah. two more starters, I think, and Yeah, uh, Tanak um they they got rid of Brett Gardner, which I think that was a bad move. They didn't I sign him. I saw that. Well, well, he, he can still come back if he wants to, yeah. but I, I guess yeah. he had an option for was it twelve million or fifteen million or yeah, something? Yeah. Or so, but he's, so, he's so, been his whole career since two thousand eight. Yeah. So that'd be kind of um, like of a Derek Jeter retiring because there's not yeah. that many players nowadays. No, no, that's for sure. But I guarantee they'll try and bring him back just at a cheaper rate. Yeah, and, and um, yeah. Ka- Tommy Canley was designated for assignment, but he opted to be a free agent. Then you have DJ Romayu. Really? Yeah, DJ's going to be – Yeah, he I, I hope he nothing. comes back. How about that? 
That's fine. That was a great. That was a great move, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a great move. And then you have um. Yeah. You have Clint Frazier, who's another young stud. He's yeah, a he's a great play. player. <laughs> yeah, but, never gets to play though. No, but yeah, but they 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 want to keep they want to keep him. Brian Cashman and and George Steinbrenner's son, how um Hal Steinbrenner. Yeah. I don't understand that because if George was running the team, he would have got traded years ago. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, but they, they, they want to keep him for insurance just in case. Yeah. And then you have yeah. Aaron Hicks and you have Mike Tuckman. I mean, there's yeah, two right. outfielders. It's the same thing with the Sox. Yeah, for sure. And and I'm sure they'll go out and find somebody anyway. Yeah. You know, to, it, you know they bring, always bring do. Free agent. Yeah, for sure. Who, who's uh, so, so what's their, what's their, uh, What's their free agent looking for? Are they looking for a pitcher? Or are they looking they're for looking for some pitchers? They're looking for different players. Tanaka, I heard Masahiro Tanaka. I heard his his old Japanese team, the Nepal, the Nepal League, the Japanese uh-huh. league out there. His yeah. old team, I think, was it the Golden Eagles? They're, yeah, maybe. They offered, they offered him some money. Believe it was oh, the really? Golden Eagles to come back. <laughs> Try but, to bring him back. But Garrett Cole, who his wife. Is is Brad Crawford the shortstop for the Giants? Brandon oh, yeah, Crawford, yeah. that's his brother-in-law. Oh no and way! Garrett Cole had dinner with Tanaka and Tanaka's wife and Cole's wife. So I think no they, I think he's trying to get Cole to come back. Nice. And not Cole, Tanaka. Yeah, Tanaka. But yeah. I, I I think they should sign Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton, yeah, be, agent. See, I can't believe they let him go. The Rays. Yeah. But, but that's the Rays. They're, they're, that's they're, true. Yeah. They 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 they're not rich like the Steinbrenners. <laughs> no, that's for sure. Well, it's funny because in the World Series, um, Clayton Kershaw yeah. and Mookie Mookie Betts made more money than the whole Tampa team combined. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I met Kershaw before in '09. He's uh, a great kid. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. seems like a good guy. I, I never a met great, him. So a a great a religious. Guy. He's a great religious man. Is he really? Yeah, a, a really strong Christian into his faith. Nice. He's has. He's helped. He's helped orphans out in Africa nice. because I read some of them. But he's a great guy. But that's another one that they said fans were saying we need to get rid of him. He choked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's crazy. He's a Hall of Famer because yeah. you know they want to get rid of him. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But Sandy <laughs> Colfax said after the World Series, Sandy Colfax said now he, now Dodgers fans no, need to know why we want to keep him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he he pitched good this year. That's for sure. Yeah. And there was yeah. Chad Billings years ago. But then he ended up leaving. But he was on those two teams that lost to the Phillies. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, the Joe Torrey. I like Joe. Great guy. <laughs> yeah, he can he can manage. That's for sure. Yeah, he was a great uh, manager. Yeah, I, I think he's changed a little bit now. He works for baseball. He kind of changed. Yeah, he, some of he his... works. At, he was. He was. Now he's right under the commissioner. He's got a different yeah. job now. He was doing that other job in Major League Baseball, but he's up. But he's in his eighties. Is he really? Yeah, and his and his and his daughter has to be a couple of years younger than me, because he has a few older kids, and then he has a daughter maybe a couple of years younger than oh, me. Nice. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, I've never I've never met Joe either. He's he's a great guy. I met him. Yeah. And I and I, I I said I said I'm still mad with the Yankees when I met him with <laughs> L.A. But once we, but I've been a Yankees fan deep, always in life. But I was That's mad good. after they got rid of Joe. Yeah. I think they should have not got rid of Joe. Joe's no. a great guy. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing what they what they think sometimes. Yeah, and you who know? who who was your other managers when you were playing for Houston <clears throat> and Montreal? My first one, my first one was Terry Collins. Terry Collins. I oh, he, he was the one that lost 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 in lost in the yeah. World Series to Kansas City. Yes, he was with the Mets too. Yeah, he was with the Mets. Um, so Terry Collins in Houston, Felipe Alou in Montreal. Yep, that's um, you played with his son. Yep, Moises was there, and yeah. uh, and then uh, Colorado was Don Baylor and Jim Leland. John Baylor and Jim Leland. Yep, I, and then Jim Leland's the, a class act. He he's awesome. I really like. Leland. I really like Jim Leland too. Yeah, he's yeah. a great manager, also. And then Tony good Larusa. Joe and, Torrey. Yep, yep. Yeah. And good friends with Tony too. Him and Tony yeah. are real good friends. Tony. So then they had Larusa in St. Louis, and uh, Dusty Baker was in Chicago. Yep. And did you ever so play? Was, did you ever play with Ken Singleton up in Montreal? No, but he was he was uh, I think the Houston TV guy when I was with the Astros. Yeah, 
So I got to know Ken. Maybe he was in Montreal. I know I got. To, I know I never played with him, but I know he's with the TV broadcasting team. Yep. When I was there. Uh, you were there because yeah. he, he's with the Yankees now. Great guy. He's yep. a Yankees broadcaster. Yeah, he's been there a long time. He's been there. And he, and, and he was to retire one year, but they kept on trying him to get back. His <laughs> bosses. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. kind of funny, all these guys. Time to put him to retire as a yeah. announcer, and they, they want to call him back. Yeah, and they don't maybe, let him. I, I believe maybe it was 2010, but a few years back, Michael Kay, the Yankees announcer, was late to get to the game in Baltimore. So yeah. Ken Singleton had his Vin Scully moment. No way. <laughs> yeah, That's he, awesome. Vin Scully run, running solo each game. That's awesome. Vin Scully, that 90-year-old man, boy, he, he's, yeah, he he's was, in great health for a 90-year-old. No, he's amazing. Kid. He's a good He's a good announcer, too. He's so good. Yeah, and but he's retired now. But isn't that kind of funny that he, he, had, he retired, and then how many years later after he retired, they win the World Series? I know. I, 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 bet, I bet you they give him a ring anyway. Yeah, I, I'd give him a ring because he's a great he's a he's a great ambassador for the. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Dodger fans everywhere love him. Yep. And what did you think about um? Uh, who was your favorite broadcaster out of all the teams? Oh, when you man. were playing. I got to know Milo Hamilton pretty good in Houston. Yep. He was good. Um. Actually, and then Ron Santo was in Chicago. I really like Ron Santo too. I mean, they're all they're all they're all good guys to me. They're all great to me, yeah. good guys. So yeah, I didn't have a problem with anybody. Did you ever um, meet Joe Buck's dad? Oh yeah, yep. Jack was in St. Louis. Joe was in yeah. St. Louis. Tim uh, yeah, so, yep, yeah. Tim. Well, McCarver was he was he there? I mean, he might have left St. Louis by then because he but might have been doing the Mets or something. Because he's back in St. Louis now. Once he retired. Oh, is he Buck. really? Yeah, that's why oh, I run right. in my media guides because I have contacts with the media relations. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I I, I met Tim McCarver just because he was in St. Louis with the alumni yeah. and stuff, but I never knew him as a broadcaster. He I think he was doing him. national stuff. Yeah, but he, and then Joe Buck ended up going to Fox. Yep. A lot, a yep. lot of baseball fans don't like Joe Buck, and I don't understand why. Yeah, I wonder why. I don't know. I I like him, but when it's a lot of Red Sox fans didn't like him in 2013. Him and Tim was he showing favorites? Was he showing favorites? No, 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 because because they they are both from St. Louis. Oh yeah. So <laughs> they, they, they were talking about the St. Uh, St. Louis. But nice. I don't have a problem with with those guys. They they're great guys. Yeah, no doubt. And then Dave Sims, I'm a friend of his. He's no, the Mariners know him. His Mariners, yeah, I don't know him. Yeah, he just got his job, and I think he was 53 <laughs> when he scored the Mariners' job. Oh wow. He was working up in New York. And do you know nice. John Sterling? John the Yankees Sterling. Radio announcer? Nope. Don't know him? Nope. There's there's a lot of good guys out there that are in the media, but not all the baseball players like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they probably like him when they have a bad game, they probably don't like him. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of, kind of like the Eckersley but, David Price thing. Yeah, David Price. And then yeah. I know the I know the Yankee security guys that get off the bus, big Mark Kefalis and Eddie. Oh, Crosby. serious? I know, I know them. I say hi to them. They say hi to me. Nice. Who John Sterling? <laughs> nice. But, they, but they, they don't, they don't like all the graphers outside. No, no. I, I'm a fan, so yeah. I, wait, I wait outside all day. But I only go once a year to Camden Yards. Oh, but really? They don't like the graphers. The gra graphers one time went after Tanaka, and, and they're going like this. Really? They'll push, slow yeah, down yeah. like that. So, so who, who's your best autograph? I've got Joe Torre before. I've nice. got Alex Rodriguez. I got Aaron Judge. Nice. No I Jeter. I never got. I've said uh, Jeter said hi to me, but he never signed for me. No way. Nope. Just kept on walking. But Dang it. Like, like I like I said, the, the um to a, a buddy there. Um, at, it's, it's it's Adam, right? Yeah, from a, the trove. Buddy Adam. I I said Adam. I said I can collect autographs now, but when I become a broadcaster because i want to work at espn i went to umass amherst for journalism oh nice yeah graduated in 17 i said adam i can't collect autographs anymore once i'm in a broadcaster yeah i mean you probably still could but just you know it might be a little tougher you know you, you can like adam said they gave him presents when he oh, really? worked for cleveland but nice. I, I can't uh, i can't do that they'd probably fire me yeah maybe, yeah, maybe. they fired one of the yankees um joe 
can't think of his last name. Maybe it's Flacken or whatever. He was team security, and they oh, fired really? him because he was he was getting autographs, and they had really? him do something else, junior archives, and they finally let him go. No way. That's too bad. Dang it. What, what, was was he get, was he getting them and selling them, or was he getting them to keep them? I don't know. He was just getting them. I I have to send yeah. you the article. I'll send. <laughs> I wrote about that. And then, yeah, crazy. then there was two police officers last year when when t- the night be- before CC had that great game. Yeah. There was two K9 officers, and the Yankee players were signing for them. Labor. Really. CC. No way. And then Big Mark Kepelis got got mad because he's no way. he's 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 like that. The Yankees traveling security guy. Yeah. And he, and he yeah, got yeah. those cops kicked out of it. But I said, Did he really? I I guess those cops said their boss said it was all right to do that. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's so how's how's the weather back there? My weather's doing good. It's cold. It snowed yeah. on my birthday, as you. When's said. your birthday? On October thirtieth. Oh, my mine's the nineteenth. Your, your yours is October nineteenth. Yes, sir. Yep. You didn't see. My, you didn't see all my signs that they hold up for me. <laughs> I didn't see. You didn't it. see the ESPN video they put together. Oh, did they really? Snowed. Yeah, but it's it's today. It's still being the low. 30s. How's the weather out in Colorado? It's beautiful. It's supposed to be like 70 today. 70. Boy, it was snowing at Mile High not that while ago. Yeah, it was snowing. Two weeks ago, it was snowing. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm actually, I'll try and do a little moving for you for a second. I'll let you yep. show you. Here's what I have to deal with right now. Yeah. You see that sunlight? Yeah, I see that so sunlight. Here. I'll turn I'll turn my phone just a little bit so you can see where I'm at. Yeah. So I'm, on- I'm at a you climbing up a mountain today? I'm at a park where there's there's 200 stairs, so I usually that's where I get my exercise in. Oh, <laughs> I, I I climb some stairs to yeah keep my keep my uh my sweet physique. Yep. So you <laughs> you don't want anything to do with baseball anymore? If they offered you a broadcast job or a coaching job? Uh, yeah, I probably would. It'd be tough, but I might yeah. because you know I I enjoy I coach high school right now. Yeah, I'm I'm a high school coach here in Denver called Cherry Creek. How's your so, How's uh, that How's your record with that team? Uh, actually, we la- well last year we didn't play. Yeah. In 2020 we didn't play any games. Yeah. But 2019 we lost in the state championship. That's and, uh, that's, that's actually kinda, yeah, it's not good, but it's kind of good you made it that yeah. far. Yeah, it's and, and the, the, sad thing, the, the sad thing was yeah. we had like eight or nine guys returning from that team for yep. this year, and we didn't get a play. So, so we, yeah. so we had a good chance of getting to the championship again, but yep. Cherry Creek is the, it's the winning. It's like the we have like nine state championships, nine state titles. It's like the winningest program in Colorado history. Our head coach has over eight hundred wins in high school baseball. That's kind of like that at, when I went to Douglas High School. I graduated yeah. way back when in two thousand twelve because I'm twenty eight now. When way back when. School. That's way back when. You're just a youngster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a youngster, but not a youngster like 21. Yeah, no, me either. I'm, yeah, <laughs> but um, Douglas had some great teams that won championships. The gir- the girls soccer team won won championships. Nice. And kind of won the when I was in eighth grade. After when I got into tenth grade, a lot of those <laughs> girls left because they were from 2008 to 2009. Oh, they really? graduated, so it was not. I mean, after it was not that great of a soccer team. And you had the baseball that did good. Nice. That that's what happens. It's like that with the Yankees or the Cardinals or the Red Sox. Oh yeah. I don't understand good. why the Red Sox allowed that Heim Bloom to take over, and 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 that would still be like he's all make the team like the Rays. Yeah, I mean, I know it's all it's all about that analytics now. Yeah. It's all about data. You know, that, yeah. that, that, that's that, that's why sometimes with the old school guys, it's hard to. Uh, go back into the game because it's not about you know you know half the guys never played the game yep you know it's all about how can you can you read spreadsheets and data and analyze yeah, yeah. and you know unfortunately nothing to do with the human elements kind of losing the game what was your favorite playoff game in 2020 probably my favorite probably either i got my first playoff save yeah against the braves that year what year was and that then, uh, what's that what year was that uh, that's 2020 20- oh, excuse me. Oh, oh never mind. Uh, my favorite. Okay, I think my favorite game I played in. Yeah. Oh, so oh, so my favorite. Oh, my favorite playoff game from twenty twenty. Yeah. Was the one where Tampa. Was one where Tampa came back and scored those two runs in the last inning. Yeah, yeah. On that base hit to center field. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's probably my favorite game of the series because it was yeah, such yeah, a good game. Yeah, the whole series, yeah. Yeah. And what was your favorite game you ever, you ever pitched in the playoffs? So, yeah, probably, that was probably in 2000. Sorry, I misunderstood you there. So, 2000, yeah. I got my first playoff save against the Braves. Yeah. In 2000. So, that was probably one of my favorites. And then and then I pitched the uh, the final game when we when we beat the Braves to go to yeah. play the Mets. Yep. And, and then the Bra- uh, so, Braves coach back then was Bobby Cox. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Cox was there. They, they, they're actually – they're a great team, too. They won, like, 10 straight 10 titles. Yeah. For, you know, the National League – whatever, yeah. National League East or whatever they were. But yeah. – I don't think yeah. Bobby Cox is ever coming out of retirement or Joe Torre. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Bobby Cox for sure. Yeah, I, Bobby think he works Cox? With, I think he's working with the Braves. Doesn't he do something with the Braves, maybe? I think maybe? he works with the Braves if I, yeah. I had to look at my media guy. Yeah, probably front of office or something. Yeah, front office. He's a, yeah, he's, sure. a great, he's a great class act as a coach. Yeah, he seems like it. And I, I never played for him, but no. he seems like every, all he the players like him. He was always up there in the first inning arguing. He had always, the, dude. It, it seemed like he broke the – Broke the record of ejections. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. <laughs> it's like he couldn't sit still, so he had to get up there and do something. Him and, uh, him and his pitching coach would rock. He sit there and, and rock yeah, back yeah, and forth yeah. on the bench. Yeah. He got a little antsy, so they got to get, you know, had to yell at the umpire. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Co- – so. and then, then there was where Joe Torrey said to George Steinbrenner in 96, we'll come back and we'll win three straight – down in Atlanta, and George said, what are you nuts? And they ended up doing that, and they won, <laughs> they won game six at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, that's, and that's right. that's when Wade Boggs ran around on the police's horses. <laughs> <Did it work>? <laughs> <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> so um, how long have you been coaching the little, the, the little, um, the little, co- the little high school you're working for? Uh, three years. Three years. So it's three years now, and, uh, yeah, we're, and we're pretty good. You know, we coach, we'll coach spring, and then we have summer and fall teams too. Yeah, so now, now you are you coaching any of your kids on the team? No, unfortunately, I have three boys. Yeah, and uh, not one of them played baseball. Oh, <laughs> so uh, that's a crime, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, so two boys played. You know, two played lacrosse. Yeah. So actually, one son's in. One son's playing lacrosse in college right now. Yeah. One son just graduated. He's not sure what he wants to do with all this pandemic stuff. And, yeah. You know, graduated colleges are kind of college. Happy. No, high school. High school. And what, what son, your son that plays lacrosse, what college does he go to? He's, he's at Southern Virginia University. That's a so good – Southern it's, Virginia. It's a, that's a, yeah, good a good college. Yeah, it's not bad. They're, you know, they're pretty good at lacrosse, so he's, he's enjoying yeah. it, having fun. And, you know, so and I have one that's a junior in high school, too, that works. He, he quit – he kind of quit playing sports, and now he yeah. just you – know, he wants to make money. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I don't blame him. Yeah. So you're, you're the uh, only one that played baseball. <laughs> I'm the only one. So so my two oldest boys played a little bit. Yeah. But they played lacrosse as well. So yeah. eventually they chose lacrosse over baseball. Yeah. Which if, if you've seen lacrosse, it's it's a fun sport. That's for sure. Yeah. It's a it's a little bit more funner than what. But but my sport is baseball. But I yeah. understand why they like lacrosse because it's a little bit more fascinating than yeah. some of their ten innings. And trust me, as a, as a parent, watching 10-year-old lacrosse is way more exciting than watching 10-year-old baseball. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's for sure. But, you know, unfortunately, like I said, I, you know, I, I, I had no idea about lacrosse until they started playing. Yeah. So, you know, I couldn't really yell at them for anything because I didn't know what I was talking about. No. <laughs> so, which is probably why they chose lacrosse because, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. Now, did but, you, um, have you kept in touch with any of your former managers or teammates you used to play with in the major league? Yeah, a couple of teammates. You know, I talked to uh, Kirk Reeder. Do you remember Kirk Reeder? Kirk Reeder. That yeah, sounds he pitched, for San, he pitched for San Francisco for about 10, 12 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're teammates in Montreal. So Kirk I talked Reeder, to him. I, I think I'm friends with him on Facebook. Yeah, you might be. He's a left-handed pitcher. Yeah. Um, so, actually, he might be joining the Trove Sports in here pretty soon, too. Yeah. So actually, I, I, you like my T-shirt? Yeah. Do a little shout out, a little shout out for the Trove. Yeah, I so, like uh, your T-shirt. Yeah, so uh, um, maybe Adam will send me a new one now. I, now that I showed it on TV. <laughs> 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 but uh, you know, I'm friends. You know, Mike Timlin was not. Mike Timlin's real close to me. We we we're almost neighbors. So Mike Timlin's Timlin. here. Yep, he had his he had a Red Sox great career. Guy. Yep, yes, sir. Two World Series. And he, and he got one up in Toronto. Toronto too. too. Yeah, yeah, I think he had two in Toronto. Yeah. Mike but Timlin's think, yeah. a, Mike Timlin's another one that's very religious. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. Yeah, Timlin and then uh Mike Myers is close to me. I Turk Wendell and 
Uh, Mike I'm Myers. To do all... Mike Myers, an- another one that won a World Series with the yeah. Red Sox. Yeah, and the, not the actor Mike Myers, but the, the left-handed pitcher Mike Myers. The left-handed pitcher <laughs> Mike Myers, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, – yeah, So Mike Myers lives by you too? Yeah, he's, a, he's, here in, he's here in Denver too. Boy, it seems like everybody moved to Denver. <laughs> well, it's, it's beautiful. I tell you what, it's, you know, when you got 70 degrees and 60, yeah. 70 degrees in the first of November, yeah, yeah. you can't beat it. So and I'm from the Northwest where it rains all the time. So yeah, yeah. You, No, but I'll you never, think they'd move to California, Southern yeah, California or Arizona yeah, too or expensive. Yeah, Arizona I can understand, but California is too expensive and, yeah. you know, too, too crowded. Too many fires, too. Yeah, too, and too crowded. Yeah. So, but – uh. Yeah, it's you know, it's nice here. It's it's you, know, you get you get all four seasons and you know not Mike two Myers, extreme winners. He's a he was a, and then he played for the Yankees for a few yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, he did. That's right. Yankees and the Red Sox, I think, too, didn't he? Yeah, he won the World Series, I believe, in two thousand four, yeah. and then he ended up playing for the Yankees. Yeah, that's right. But he didn't win the World Series. But I, I think I I think I would know him. Yeah, you probably the, would. Yeah, from the bullpen. Yeah, 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 there's a few. Actually, it's surprising how many guys still live in Denver that you know that are from here. Is Mike Timlin on Facebook? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I, I don't think he does. That's what I know. Of. I know. If Mike Myers is on Facebook, tell him to give me a shout out. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I see him every now and then. I'll see yeah. if I, you know, I'm not sure if he's on there because, you know, you know, some of those high profile guys don't yeah. like to. I thought you know, he was on Facebook, but sometimes he, it's he might be. It could be I'm somebody sure. else pretending to be somebody. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You never know now. Nowadays, yeah. you gotta be careful. R- R- I'm friends with Rajon Davis. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. I- Adam likes him because he's the one that got Coco Chris for Adam. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I-, I thought Adam might be on here. He must be sleeping. No, I, 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 I think he's on there, but I didn't think he. Uh, he said he's. I offered him to come on, and he says. Uh, I hope just watch. He'll watch the recording later, I guess. Yeah, I guess he'll watch. But uh, he said he doesn't like going on TV like I do or you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a face for radio, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I have a face for TV and the radio. Yeah, Dave not Sims me. Was, I was doing my three things. I don't know if you saw those, but I quit doing them because I had a teleprompter and yeah. I, had a, I had a back wall. And Dave Sims says if I was on radio or if I did play-by-play on TV like um, Joe Buck, he said, you can't use a teleprompter. He said, you need to use your brains. Really? That's what Dave Sims told me, yeah. Oh, I'm, in, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I, yeah. I, 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 and he said, I'm doing better with the talking now because when nice. I was a teleprompter, I, I looked like I was a – sometimes I looked good, but sometimes I was like a robot. Oh, serious? Yeah, if, yeah. if I get you know, stuck reading stuff. Yeah, I have That's a lot true. of mentors in the, in the TV business. That's cool. I, I don't know if you've seen my photos on Facebook. Have you no, I'll check them out. There's, I've been the, I have a friend at ESPN. I've been there a lot. Oh, nice. That's down in Connecticut, so it's yeah. not that far from where I live. I live in Dublin. Is that Bristol? Is that Bristol? In Bristol yeah. yeah, Bristol, Connecticut. Nice. I, I met a, I met Teddy Ruski there two years ago. Great. Oh, guy. did you really? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is he is he a big dude? He, he's he's big, but not anymore since since he had the stroke. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. And his Jeez. and I. And, and his and his wife was so happy when he got out of there. <laughs> Nothing like a <laughs> he was young. pile. He was young too. Holy cow! Yeah, but he he won a couple of Super Bowls. I know. He had some pretty good teams. And then Vince Vince Wolfwalker, another guy. I never met oh, him, but which one's that one? Uh, Vince Wolfwalker, the defensive guy for the. Oh, Patriots. the big guy, real big guy, yeah. right? And he ended yeah, up yeah. going to play for Bill, Bill O'Brien. That's He's right. Another great guy. Yeah. How about Tom Brady? Did you ever meet Brady? I never met Brady. Never did. Jeez. He's pretty good. Yeah. I had somebody <laughs> that said they would all show me around. There was in the media. She never yeah. did. She said she would show me around. Security guys wanted to show me around. After that, she she didn't say anything back. The security guys wanted to meet me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So did you have any traveling security guys on any of the teams you played for? Yeah. I mean, not personal because I wasn't that famous, I guess. But, uh, but, no, but our, teams that- had, uh, our teams had traveling security, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, nowadays, sure. nowadays a lot of the teams don't. It's just the Yankees and the oh, Texas really? Rangers. But oh, there's really? probably other teams I don't know of. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, we yeah. We, we did. We, we had, like we had we had a couple guys that would travel with us everywhere yeah. we went. But a maybe they, maybe would... they didn't work for the team. Oh, that could be too. 
Yeah, yeah I don't know. The other but, guys but, but, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So I know, I know we had some back then, and yeah, but uh, it's different times back then too. How did you like Sammy Sosa as a teammate? He was all right. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he, was, he, was, he was a decent teammate. He wasn't bad. Yeah. You know, he could he could hit with some homers. Yeah, now, now he looks a lot different. <laughs> yeah, he's he's almost as white as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And he wouldn't answer what's his name's question, but he probably oh, the ESPN guy. The, yeah. the Jeremy, J- Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy Shap. Jeremy Shap. Jeremy Shap. Yeah. I, I've seen him before. Oh, yeah, have you really? Yeah, I happen to be walking out of the room and my friend says, hi. And then I, I see him getting a bubble of drink. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. But it's, 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 a, it's a great life. Baseball is a great life for some people. That's fun. People yeah. It's. Must. Yeah, it's it's you know to, to be able to play a sport for a living and you know enjoy what you know enjoy what you do. Especially you know I wasn't very good when I was younger. Yeah. So it's kind of nice. You know, I was surprised. You know, you know I, I didn't play as a freshman in high school and you know a junior. I sent back to the JV team and yep. You know, so I was definitely a late bloomer. So to play as long as I did for you know not being very good in high school, I was pretty lucky. My Douglas, Doug, my my town is known for their baseball too because oh, really? soldiers. Soldiers Field is still there, but it's it's a little league or or a high school like spot. But the, then the high school has their own field up in the high school. Oh wow! But they, they, but they have teams to play there. But that's that's the same field that the Yankees and Red Sox same stadium. How is it? Really? Hasn't changed. Yeah. Jeez. That's 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 uh, I'm surprised like ESPN hasn't came out there and did a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you should probably send them a note and remind them. Yeah, yeah, I, sh- I should. I. I, I one of my friends that works for the Red Sox media relations. I sent him the video. He said, "I never heard about that." No way. Yeah, I'm surprised that it's not in the Red Sox media guide or the Yankees. Yeah, no doubt. Because that 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 was a ex, but that was after the war. Oh, holy 1946. cow! 1946. Well, well, even just the players that played in it, you'd yeah. think they would, yeah. you know, know yeah. about it. They make a yeah. T-shirt in Douglas about that. Do they really? Yeah. Nice. They have all the names. Yeah. Joe DiMaggio, and then you had Pete, um, Don DiMaggio, and Ted Williams, Johnny wow. Pesky, and then you had a bunch of Hall of Famers on both sides. For the yeah, that's awesome. But the Red Sox never won a World Series. Don should have won for a while. The, Don Don should have played for the Yankees. He would have got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, that that must have been a rough thing, because yeah. his brother died. His brother died, I believe, in '96. Was it? Yeah. Joe Joe DiMaggio. Yeah, I'm trying I to think it was, was 96. Yeah, because I think Mantle was like 94, wasn't he? What? I, I think Mantle died in 94. A, a Mantle? Oh, oh, Mickey Mantle, yeah. Yeah, he died in like 94, so I think DiMaggio. And then, and then I believe Don DiMaggio died in 09 or 2010. He was like, oh, wow. he, was up in his, he was up in his hundreds, I think. Was he really? Oh, in 90. But those Holy are cow. those are two, uh, two class brothers. Yeah, no doubt. And then Ted Williams was a class act. Yeah, all those old school guys. That's kind of nice. What now? What do you have to think about baseball in general? Now they canceled the winter meetings. Do you think there'll be a baseball season next? Oh, uh, were they really? I didn't hear they canceled the winter meetings. Did they really? Yeah, I read that on ESPN. Holy cow! Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I actually I talked to a buddy yesterday yeah. who's a scout. Yeah. For the A's, another good friend of mine. Yep. And uh, you know, I know they aren't sure about the minor league season yet either. Yep. So what's going on? Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I tell you what, these last, you know, this last year or two is gonna be, it's hurting baseball. That's for sure. Have you been? You have, have you? Have you liked my Carl's Corner on Facebook? I, I have to check it out some more. I haven't looked I, at it I, I sent it to you. I, I like it's my yeah. fourth blog. I put the Koreans and different stuff on there. Nice. But yeah, I'll check it out the, again. I haven't seen it for a while. So, um, the Red Sox AAA team. You know they've been up in McCoy for years. They're moving up to Worcester. Really? It'll be called the Woo Sox. And the stadium will <laughs> be called Pol- Polar Park. It's not nice. that far from me. I just nice. have to hop on the highway. Nice. You'll be there. You'll be there every night. Yeah, I- I'd like to be there every night. <laughs> <laughs> if I got if I got a job there as a broadcast, I'd I'd be there every night. There you go. That'd be nice. Yeah. Are you, you going to apply for it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I've been applying for jobs. I haven't if got one hiring. yet. Well, what's it, 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 it's good, it's, good, it's good doing these yeah. blogs now that you get some experience, huh? Yeah. That's what I've been, I've been doing experience. I don't have a demo reel, but I have friends that will help me with one. That's I do good. all yeah, my schooling nice. online. Sweet. But my friends said, just keep plugging along, and I'll get somewhere at some point. 
You never know eventually. Yeah. Perseverance, that's for sure. Just like that's what somebody said. Somebody said that uh, I forgot who it was. They said we should all have perseverance like Carlation Jr. That's what somebody <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> see all my guides back there? I do, that's awesome. Display? Yeah. I see him that. Yeah, unfortunately I was out and about today. I take my son yeah. to work. So my, my youngest son works. He doesn't so, drive? Uh, no, he doesn't drive yet. Oh. Yeah, uh, I think he well, I think he does yeah. in a couple months cuz well, I know he turned 17, but he yeah. did he waited he w yeah. no, he turned 16, but he waited to yeah. get his permit. Yeah. So you have, you have to have your permit for a year. I had my I had my permit when I was 18. Did you and really? Then, and then I let it lapse because I had to go do college. Nice. And I got it back in 17 and I got my license in 19. So th nice. this 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 January will be two years I was driving. Nice. It's, yeah, it's so, always fun driving. Yeah, well, and, and he has older brothers and sisters, so he yeah. never had to drive. He always was no. dri driven around. So, you know, yeah. when, when, when he turned 15 to get his permit, he never did it. And your, you wife, know, probably until, drove, your wife probably drives him around, and you do. <laughs> that's, that's what we do now. So yeah, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think a couple more months he will get his license in a few more months. Yeah. So Now, I'm what is he, soon. does he want to do anything for sports for work? No, nope, not really. He, uh, like I said, he's working. He works full time, and you know he he enjoys making money right now. So, now did any of your kids when you when you played? Did any of your kids were your kids born yet when you were playing? Uh, two of them were. Did they so get my, to meet any of the players? I, yeah, oh yeah. I have an older daughter. My daughter is the oldest, and my son is twenty, twenty one, twenty two right now. Yeah. And so How old's your actually, daughter? 24 i think oh they're old I, i'm i'm older than they are <laughs> yeah 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 you're an old man <laughs> yeah now um so what what, so what my, guys my, did they meet was it up in montreal was it, was no, it actually um, my daughter was born in montreal but my yeah. son was born in colorado but yeah. when we travel with st louis he was yeah. old enough he was like two yeah he would fly he would fly on the plane with us oh <laughs> so so on the planes you know yeah. one extra row mark mcguire sat across yeah on one extra row yeah. I sat on the next exit row across yeah. the aisle from him, and yeah. then Mike Matheny would sit by the window. Mike Matheny, he was a coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, we were, te we we're teammates together. Yeah. So he's another then another he one of my favorite, another, another one of my favorite players. Yeah, Mike so, Matheny's a, a nice a nice man too. He's he's a I great read, guy. I read, I read his I read the book about the Cardinals' faith not that long ago. Yeah, no, and he's Mike awesome. Matheny was in there. Yeah, so so my son would travel with us. Yeah, and he'd he'd sit on the plane between me and Matheny. Yeah. And so you get to hang out with, you know, you know, all the guys on the Cardinals for those years and, you know, take batting practice on the field. So how, I, how, I, did, actually, Tony, how did Tony La Russa like him? Uh, he was fine because he was, he was, he was, I, I'd make him leave before game time. And, yeah. you know, if, if we lost, he wouldn't come into the clubhouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, no, he'd he only come in when the, we win. Did La Russa give him any tips when he was a little kid about the hitter or anything? No, not really. But, not but really. he got some tips from like, you know, JD Drew and Isringhausen and JD Drew. Uh, yeah, he ended up playing for the Sox, and then his brother. Yeah, he did. Yep. Then his brother played for the Yankees. That's he right. For the Sox and the Yankees. So uh, yeah, so you know, so it's, I got some cool picture with with my son. Unfortunately, yeah. my other two don't remember it a whole lot because they were just <laughs> they were just barely born. So your daughter you know, doesn't remember that. Yeah, well, she does, but but you know, my 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 daughter never got to travel with us. Oh. So only my son did, just because yeah. you know the girls couldn't come in the clubhouse as much. No, and, no, no. <laughs> You know, so especially so, with naked so, men, naked men yeah. in the clubhouse after the game, running around yeah. taking showers. Yeah, no need to see a you know a little girl running around the clubhouse. So no, no. <laughs> so 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 she was kind of bummed. She never really got to experience yeah. a whole lot of that. But but yeah, but, but, the, but but the clubhouse after the game too. You have yeah. to be careful when you have kids oh, in there because oh yeah because the players are swearing at the media or swearing at each other or the coaches or in the locker room. <laughs> no doubt. Mike Matheny was a great guy and. He, uh, he, he was awesome. He, he he was a he he was one that didn't swear that he never he never swore that much compared to some of the other players. Oh yeah, he walked yeah, he's his a good language. Guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's so another, he, another one of my favorite players. His favorite teammates. Yeah. Now, wasn't he? Isn't he co this year? Didn't he coach Kansas City? Kansas City, yeah. Yeah, I went to it, KC this year, and you know, they were okay. They were young, I think, kind of rebuilding. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not as good as when um they won that World Series. Oh, yeah, they were good. Their bullpen was really good then. One thing I didn't understand 
this year when the Texas Rangers played um, the Padres and Fernando Tis Jr. Yeah, hit that grand slam. His yep. and the and and they drew they drilled Machado. His yeah, manager instead of standing up for him told him to apologize. Well, it's not his fault. He got a home run. Why, why, why do you yeah. have to apologize? I know. Yeah, unfortunately, that's how the game's kind of changed a little bit. No, but you don't you don't apologize. I mean, if I'm the manager, I'm not going to stand up and make Aaron Judge apologizing for hitting a grand slam. I know, slam. hitting a home run. I know. It's brutal. That doesn't make yeah. any sense. Yeah, I, I, play with, I play with Tatis's dad, too. Tatis, oh, yeah. He played yeah, for St. Louis. St. Louis when I was there, yeah. We were, we were teammates in St. Louis, too. And Tatis, they wanted, they wanted him. His dad wanted him to sign with St. Louis, but then he went to San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> but then he played. Yeah. Didn't he play for the Braves before he went to San Diego? I'm not really I sure. He, I thought really. I saw him. Really? Yeah, I yeah, don't know. He's he he he's another young stud. He's gonna do good for San Diego. He's 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 gonna be awesome. Yeah, I he's hope good San player. Diego. I hope San Diego doesn't trade trade um trade him away like the Cardinals traded Randy Rose. R- Rosarini? A Rosarina? Yeah, I know. Rosarina, yeah. That was Jeez. a mistake. That's crazy, and, isn't it? And did you hear about his story about how he left Cuba after his dad was at a baseball game and his dad was allergic to seafood, but he still ate it? And then he no way. Played, played for the Mexican League, but he went was a little a cut what would be a kayak for us, but a little boat there. And he knew yeah. not that many people would make it out of from Cuba to Mexico. And, and, and shock fested waters. You didn't hear about that? Yeah. That no, was a no, I know that. I'm surprised really? that I'm, I collect the World Series games on DVD, like the, the full games. I'm surprised oh, yeah. they haven't came out with the Dodgers this year. Doesn't seem like they're making one. Yeah, they're probably, they're probably not too excited about it. <laughs> no, but you, you'd think that they would make one, a collector's item like they did with yeah, the Yankees. I'm, sure, I'm sure they will. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do it eventually. But they, they, they usually do it really early but they only yeah. had the highlights i said i'm not buying the highlights sure. yeah no doubt yeah they're probably, i'm sure that i'm sure they have to have one made i'm sure yeah they have to have one made yeah but they usually sell them and pre-order them now which they didn't this year huh but mookie bets boy that was worth a lot of money well yeah i do comply man yeah that was and andrew freeman was waiting for him really yep but um that was that was a bad mistake the cardinals made by trading Rosa Rosavini. Yeah, who, who's he trade? Who's he traded for? Do you know? He was traded for a couple of um, a minor league, a a, a a draft pick, and a couple of minor league guys. Really? One Holy was a cow. pitcher, but I don't understand why the, the Cardinals should have kept them. Yeah, I, well, I agree. Well, with, 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 with Tampa, Tampa's made some good moves lately. It's almost like when they traded for Glass now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Austin, and Austin Meadows for yeah, for what's in, uh, Chris Archard. Yeah, for Chris Archer, and he's done yeah. nothing. And then Evan Longoria, they traded yeah. for him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, Longoria's Tim is doing good, though. Yeah, he's doing all right for San Fran, but it, Tim it's has just, made some good moves. It's just they're rebuilding in San Fran because Bruce, Bruce Bochy retired. Yeah, Bochy's gone, and their pitching staff, everybody's getting old there. Yeah. Uh, Bochy is, um, Bochy is, um, uh, oh, I, I read the guide this year because I have a friend that sent it to me. Bochi is a um, some some type of executive. Him oh, and his is he really? Pitcher goes. And then you ever remember Javier Javi Lopez, the former pitcher? He played. Oh for, yeah, the left-hander. Red Sox. He lives out in Colorado. He's yeah, 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 left-hand yeah, pitcher. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, I've he met is. him before. Uh, I met him a couple times. I met I met him and he signed for me outside the minor league stadium. Nice. And then you have Kyle Snyder, a former Red Sox guy that won an old seven. He's the pitching coach for the Rays. Oh, is he really? Yeah. He did a good job. It it should be it 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 should be interesting about will the Rays um, blame um, Kevin Cash? I know. <laughs> that but was. I, a, a, I thought to ahead. myself that was a bad move. What they did. I know. I said, unfortunately, that data sometimes takes over, and it's and it's easy to it's easy to justify. Yeah, you know, because the data says I should do this, and yeah. so, you know, unfortunately, it's uh, backfired. You ever you know? go and get your free taco on the twenty eighth? <laughs> no, I didn't. I, did I you? never did either. No. Now, did you ever play I, against? Do you ever play against John Smoltz? Yeah, oh, yeah. Tom, Tom Glavin yep. or yep. Greg Maddox? Greg Maddox. Yeah, I played against the Braves for you know ten years. Yeah. 
Yep, they're they're good for a long, long time. John Smoltz now has took over for Tim McIver and yeah, now he's, John he does Smoltz good. and Joe Buck. Yeah, Joe he does Buck. awesome. He does awesome in baseball. Yeah, he's a he's a great analyst. Yeah, so so how, how about that team? Yeah, those three pitchers Hall of Famers. Chipper Jones a Hall of Famer. And yep. Andrew Jones should be. You know, Andrew Jones should be a Hall of Famer. And he played for the Yankees in, in 11 and 12, yeah. I believe. Oh, and that was the oh, year. Did he really? Had, that was the year they, because I went to Camden Yards that year, first year going there. That was the year where they said the, they thought the Yankees would win the Orioles series. They beat them in five games. But remember, the wild card had the home, first two home games. Oh, uh, that's so right. That, yeah. that, that was different. Yankees had home field advantage, so they did host Detroit, Detroit but they ended up. They thought they somebody said they thought they'd beat Detroit, but Detroit beat the crap out of them, and that's when Jeter got injured. <laughs> that that year in the that's playoffs. Right. That's right. Holy cow! Yeah. Jeez. So thank you for joining me today. Oh no problem. Nice having me. Thanks for having me. Yep. Thank you again, Dave. Look forward to talking to you some other time. I'll let you go. Have a good day. This has been Carl H. Thanks, buddy. Nice talking to you. Off. Thanks, Carl. You're welcome. Have a good day. Bye-bye.